guys? Smile shortly here. What? I'm wearing the same outfit I wore in my story. Yeah, I'm doing the video the same day because I figured why not. So I have yet another confession for you. Yay! <laughs> happened to me when it came to cooking that I totally messed up and each thing that I screwed up was supposed to be easy to cook and bake. So let's start with the baking one. Alright so my mom bought store bought brownies and she asked me if I could make them and I told her mom I don't I don't bake, I don't cook, I don't do any of that, you know. She told me that if I don't practice then I'm not gonna get any better. So I decided fine, I'll make the stupid brownies. I, I mixed it up and I noticed it was really liquidy because you know when you mix it up, it starts to, you know, become more frosting-like. Frosting. It becomes thick and um, looks kind of like frosting and stuff when you mix it up. And it was not doing that, it was really liquidy. And I was like, what the heck is going on with these brownies? Man, maybe it's just this box, it's so stupid. It just, maybe there wasn't enough powder. I poured it into the pan and then I cooked it and then while it was cooking my mom walked in and go Jessica it smells like vegetable oil burnt vegetable oil I don't know why I cooked the stupid brownies how much vegetable oil did you put inside the brownies a quarter cup because that's what it told me to do Jessica and she pulls out the measuring cup and puts it on the counter and she goes, show me where a quarter cup is. And I pointed at the quarter cup and she goes, Jessica, that's the one and a quarter cup. The quarter cup is down here. So I basically cook vegetable oil with chocolate and water. <laughs> on to the next disaster. So my dad and I were home alone. My dad was sleeping and he was going to get up and go to work. So I figured I would make him some food before he left. And I was like, but I can't cook. So, and I didn't want to make him a sandwich because I thought that would be lame. So I was like, I'm going to make him eggs. Because I know how to make eggs. I was just taught recently, I'm going to make eggs. It's so easy. So I, I pull out a pan and put it on the stove. And I crack the egg and I put it in and I'm making it. And my dad taught me that if you pour some milk in, it makes the, you know, it makes the eggs more creamier fluffier and stuff like that and so I figured I'd add the milk. So I looked down and the milk isn't in the eggs. It's just eggs in a puddle of milk. <laughs> so I took the eggs and I put it on a plate and I'm like crying because they're dripping milk and I put it on the counter for him and he comes downstairs I cooked for you but I ruined the eggs. What, what do you mean you ruined the egg? I put the milk in too late. Being the polite person my dad is, he takes a bite of the eggs and he goes, It's so good. It's so good, sweetie. The last terrible incident. This one actually happened recently. The family that I live with right now, they told me that there's this drawer that I can take anything. If there's, it's filled with snacks and they're like, You can take whatever you want out of it every if you want something. I was like, all right, so I, they weren't home, and I went in that drawer, and I found Easy Mac, and I'm like, there we go, there's some lunch. So I pull out the Easy Mac, and I know you're already face palming. Easy Mac has the word easy in it. So this is the Easy Mac that I had to cook, the original cheese sauce mix. The instructions were to pour the mac and cheese in a bowl, and then add two-thirds cup of water. So I added the, the noodles and then I put the water in and I microwaved it like it says to for as long as I'm supposed to. 
And I added in the cheese sauce and I stirred it up and I'm like, yeah, I'm making an easy mac and it's easy. And then I look down and I realize it's really liquidy. What's going on? It turns out, I don't know how to measure two thirds cup of water without a measuring cup. I, I may be living here right now, but I don't know where all their measurement stuff is. I don't know where all their kitchen utensils are, so I did not know where their measuring cup was. So I kind of just had to estimate how much water to put in the bowl. Turns out I put in too much water in the bowl. I know they offered that I could have one if I wanted one, but I felt like I stole it and I felt bad and then I just ruined it, so I ate it anyways. And let me just tell you, watery mac and cheese, but I hated most of this set. If cheese sauce appears thin, do not put it back in microwave. Cheese sauce will thicken upon standing. I let it stand. It didn't thicken at all. It was watery. But I do have a picture of it that I'm going to show you now. Yeah, not my greatest moment. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why I don't cook. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up. Also, give it a thumbs up if you have ever had any cooking disasters. Also, comment below if there's something you can't cook or maybe you can't cook at all. And please follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Mostly Instagram, guys. Mostly Instagram. I'm always on Instagram. Uh, like my Facebook page and follow me on Vine. Pop.